Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you the fragrances that I wear on those cold, moody, rainy days that we have during the summer. Now, we have had a heat wave for quite a while, but all of a sudden we got the thunderstorms and it got really quite cold. And so, you know, when you go from that heat wave to like cold and drizzly, it just kind of goes straight to your bones. Like it's it's so cold when you've been used to that, that hot weather. So I wanted to pull out some fragrances that work well for those cold, rainy days, gusty days, uh, but you don't want to reach for your really heavy winter fragrances. You still want a certain amount of lightness, airiness, but you do want to feel a little bit cozy. I've got you covered, but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first one I want to talk about is by Frank Bouclette and it's called Vanille. Now this is a beautiful vanilla. I find vanilla sometimes cloying. This one has the perfect balance of kind of citruses and vanilla to, so that it works perfectly in the summer. And all of these fragrances really you can wear anytime during the summer, but there is that cozy factor involved with them. So this one has, this one has grapefruit, lime and cardamom on the top. So that little bit of spiciness from the cardamom is great, but you still get that little bit of citrus, which really balances beautifully with va the vanilla. In the middle, you have caramel, ginger and flour and then the base is vanilla absolute, cedar and musk. So you do definitely get a vanilla centric fragrance, uh, but there's a bit of sweetness, a little bit of sparkle in it somehow, and it totally reminds me of a Coca-Cola. So totally get that cola-esque vibe. So it's still kind of light enough that it works uh, for a summer mood, but it does have that wonderful cozy factor. So I absolutely love this fragrance for being that cozy, delicious vanilla that works in warmer temperatures. I would typically wear this next one in the cooler weather, uh, but I did wear it this week and I absolutely loved it in the kind of cold, damp weather. It was so perfect and it is called Tea for Two by L'Artisan Perfumer. So this one is a tea-centric fragrance. It has tea, star anise, and bergamot in the opening and I definitely get that fresher kind of tea vibe when it first opens. And then the middle note has all these delicious spices. So it's got cinnamon spices, ginger, and gingerbread. Yes, please. Like I love gingerbread. So like seriously, this one is better in the fall, but it worked perfectly for cold, like a cold damp day. Tobacco, honey, leather, and vanilla. This fragrance is definitely going on my wish list. Like seriously, when I tell you it is delectable, like I, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this. Now, what I think is so cool about it is it starts off kind of more of a tea, almost a little bit green with that opening. It doesn't feel at all like a black tea. It's It feels a lot more refreshing and fresh. Sometimes I find tea fragrances can feel a little bit cold, but all of a sudden this one morphs and you start to get these delicious spices and it feels totally like a chai tea. Like you're having those chai spices, a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet. It is so, so good. This one is definitely more for my climate. It's just low 20 Celsius uh, with the rain, cloud, wind. This is so cozy and delectable. Uh, anything else, like this wouldn't be good for summer because it's like quite potent, but uh, it totally worked for me. So I wanted to mention it. Just love this fragrance. Definitely on my wish list. Chai tea, guys. Chai tea. So yummy. Next one that I always find cozy, probably more because it's comforting, but somehow it's cozy to me, is Mongerlan by Guerlain. Now this one, it's got lavender, it's got vanilla, it's got florals, it's sweet. Uh, definitely works in all types of weather, uh, but I always find this one comforting and slightly co cozy. I don't know if it's the lavender, I don't know if it's the sweetness, but this one is definitely one that I we reach for if it's cooler out for sure. Another cozy fragrance for summer would be Ariana Grande's Cloud. So this one, it's just sweet kind of cotton candy uh, with a little bit of lavender on there, a little bit of vanilla. 
Uh, so there's a bit of an herbaceous quality, but it's just kind of sweet and fluffy. It just feels like a, a bit of a comforting, cozy bubble when you put this one on in the summer. So again, for those rainy days, fantastic. Probably my favorite cozy summer fragrance is Amouage Sunshine. So I always think that the name is so bizarre because it sounds like it's going to be like this super sunscreeny solar fragrance. Uh, but this one is quite warm. Uh, there's almond in here. There's white tobacco flower. Uh, I think there's some vanilla in here. But what you get is kind of almost a humid, slightly apricot almond fragrance. It's it's bordering on a little bit milky feeling. Um, it's it's so cozy and relaxing. So this fragrance, you know, I always think cloudy day when I smell this. So I like wearing this all year round again, but for those cloudy, cold days, this is super comforting and cozy with that almond in there. It's not too sweet, but with the almond and the white tobacco flower, oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. The other thing that's amazing about this one is the longevity is forever, like we're talking 10 hours or more. Uh, so this fragrance, just, just love it. Um, it took me a while to warm up to it, but now that I have, like, it's just the perfect, like, cloudy, drizzly day fragrance. Yes, yes, indeed. Another one that works on rainy days is Girl of Sab, er, Girl of Sab. <laughs> Girl of Now Shied by Ellie Sab. This one's got a juicy pineapple note, but what gives this the warmth is the almond and pistachio that's in here. So definitely feels a little bit like a warm hug. Love wearing this one uh, for the, just those cozy days. Um, this one wouldn't work in the major heat, but I always keep it out because as soon as the evening comes, this one works really great. It's sweet, it's kind of intoxicating. And yeah, for, for like a drizzly day where you wanna feel just like a warm blanket, this is awesome. Now, another one that would work for a rainy, rainy day is Hugo Boss's The Scent Private Accord. Uh, so this is chocolate and orange. Like I'm not really a fan of a chocolate type fragrance, especially in the summer, but in colder weather, this one is perfect because it's not overpowering. So you get the chocolate, but it's balanced with some orange, with some osmanthus. So it's kind of a delicate chocolate fragrance. The longevity isn't great. So you get like about four-ish hours. If you overspray and put it on your clothes, you get longer. But if you want kind of like that chocolate orange vibe, which to me feels a bit cozy, this would be a great one to choose. Another fragrance that I think really works well uh, for cozy purposes, I'm not sure why, I'm basically in love with this and it's Sweet Addict by Okcha. So this is the dupe for Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. This one's a little bit sharper than the Love Don't Be Shy, the, the Love Don't Be Shy that you get in the store. It's a little bit more fluffy, a little bit softer, a little bit sweeter, but a lot less potent. So this is way more potent. This has a bit of a neroli feel in the opening, but you still get that marshmallow fluffy feel to this one. Uh, it's sweet and it's fluffy. And so I always think of cozy, like cozy, uh, shawl-like type fragrance. So in the major heat, I'm not sure I would wear this. Uh, now, again, I live in a cooler climate, so I can wear almost anything in the summer. <laughs> like, really. <laughs> but when it's like, like, I wore it today, actually, because it was so cold, like I was freezing. Uh, and so this was just perfect. It had that sweet, fluffy feel. Um, so yeah, I love it. And this like seriously beast mode. So this is going to last on your skin for at least 10 hours projects beautifully. Uh, you really can't go wrong with it. Plus it's only 50 bucks. Uh, so yeah, it's 30 mils, uh, but it's an X straight. So you don't need much. So great price on this. Love don't be shy. Like the bottle and everything is so beautiful. But for bang for your buck, definitely, honestly, the Ocha is the way to go. This next one, it is, it's got a little bit of that tropical feel somehow, uh, but it is uber cozy at the same time. And it's Brosaliande by Soradora. This one has lime on the opening. 
uh, but it's got some rum, there's caramel, there's a lot of like uh, spicy notes. I think there's cinnamon in here. Uh, so it it gives me kind of a chai chai feel somehow too. You've got a little bit of brightness from the citrus, but then you've got caramel and you've got some liquor and you've got some spices and somehow it just smells super duper cozy. I got a little story about this one. I walked into the house and again, it's been rainy all week and I am not complaining. Like I actually love the rain. It's felt really kind of like, like I love it. It's so cozy and drizzly and dark and moody. Love it. Plus we really needed rain because Alberta is like basically on fire. So really happy to have the rain. We're supposed to have quite a lot. So I'm very, very thankful. But anyway, I walk through the house and I smell the most delectable smell. And I thought to myself again, it reminded me of tea for two because I'm like, this smells somehow like chai. Like what did my son grab? Uh, like what, it, what smells so good in the house? Like was he cooking? Like did he make some sort of delicious like whatever. Like, I don't know. It just smells so good. So I'm like, what, what is that smell? And he goes, it's broseliande. And I'm like, are you serious? So he had just sprayed and he smelled so amazing. Just the air smelled so amazing. Like I was in love. So this one, it's good any time in the summer, but it does give me a cozy factor that works great in the rain. Okay, another one that is a little bit sweeter that I think would work, like I usually put this one away, uh, but I pulled it out because it was cold and I just thought it would feel a little bit warm, even though I find, well, I'll just tell you. So uh, it's La Petite Robe Noir Intense. So this has cotton candy and blueberry, and typically I find blueberry to be kind of a cold note in fragrance, but somehow paired with the cotton candy, this has some sort of warmth. Um, it's fairly light and airy. So as far as having kind of a, a warmer, sweet fragrance, uh, that's not going to get too cloying, even like the, even though it's, even though it's rainy, sometimes you know how a heavier winter fragrance can feel too much. This one remains light enough that it totally works. So sweet cotton candy blueberry is basically what you get in this one. It's delicious. It's delectable. Somehow it just, it evokes that warm weather feel without being too cloying for sure. Love this fragrance. And the last one I'll mention, I guess it feels a little tropical. None of the notes are tropical in it, but it is Bond Number no. 9 New York Nights. Although it doesn't list it, I'm sure there is Ylang Ylang in this because the, it smells banana-esque. So uh, with the, the cold, damp weather, having a little bit of banana, like warm banana nut bread, how can you go wrong with that scent profile? So this totally works for rainy, cold days. Uh, it is a little bit more uh, vivacious with that banana feel in it, but it's it's very yummy, very cozy. So this one would work. Another one, honestly, that would work at, for rainy weather to me is Lyra. So it's got that lemon pound cake feel. Anything that's cakey, so banana cake, Lemon cake, to me, that's perfect for your kind of drizzly, rainy, moody days. What about you? What do you love wearing for those drizzly, cold, rainy days? Leave it in the comments. I would love to know. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.